Show 2019. What we have here is our a fixed wing drone, which is some work we're doing with RMIT. Uh, basically what this one's about is a, a slightly different than normal, uh, basically sort of drone that works off um, helicopter type of wave. It's a fixed wing one. So we're producing this out of titanium. It has significant advantages over carbon fiber, and it's quite an exciting project we're working with RMIT and their advanced manufacturing center in that area. Okay, to add further what we have on our stand here, we have some more parts relative to some of the more recent patent announcements we've talked about. Uh, so we recently acquired the right to exclusively use further patents from the CSRO, and that's relative to continuous pipe, and also mantle where we can produce valves, flanges, and other areas. So I'll touch on this very briefly and quickly. Uh, we have here a lot of titanium tube. Now there's a huge market for titanium tube. Uh, every desalinization plant uses about 400 kilometers, but even also for future technologies in the naval vessels like frigates and submarines, use extensive amount of tubing. So this is um, a really nice technology that adds further to the suite we have. Another patent that we recently acquired as part of the exclusivity agreement with CSRO is about what we call mandrel type of uh, spraying or building on a, on a mandrel. As you can see here, we have a range of different parts on the first one we have a titanium with a tungsten carbide that's used in oil industry. A significant improvement for oil industry as far as abrasive resistance for so corrosion and erosion resistance. Uh, further here we have some large stainless steel parts. It's another titanium and also a flywheel as well. Some of the advantages of these new technologies is it actually brings parts to market a lot quicker. Some of these valves that can be quite expensive in the tune of thousands of dollars and with additive manufacturing, we've removed subtractive manufacturing technology, otherwise where you mill a part down, now we can actually make parts exactly off the machine. In a lot of cases we can just do basically straight polishing out the part finish. Those that are familiar with the TOR project we've been working on, the soldier system, we're now working through what we call phase two of that project where we're doing further validation of parts and moving beyond proof of concept into proper production process and engineering solution. You can see a little bit further over, we had the small drone we released at Land Forces in 2018. And as you can see here now, this is delivery of our first phase of TORB in stage two. It's quite a significant drone and what it can do, you can see the size of the motors. And basically we're looking at ultra lightweight it's a combination of titanium coating. This has actually been finessed to the point now where the part you see, the main body, is actually sprayed and the finish off that is straight off the actual spray gun. But this is actually really putting Australia on the map as far as relative to soldier system. This will have a definite impact with special forces and other uh, defence agencies where they can use this as far as it could be protecting troops, it could be delivering medical aid or armaments to, to soldiers in the battlefields. Not only that, we can actually customise drones for particular applications. The drone here has been engineered to take a round from an AK-47. So quite significant what we can do. Soldiers that will be carrying this need to be able to work in the field with them. And just by ruggedising it, it gives a lot more um, protection to those forces and they don't have to worry about small plastic bits breaking and so forth. So I'm going to wrap it up here now, but thank you for your time and I'll keep going with these videos in the future. Thank you very much.